Today I'm on the short stay ward, which is kind of like an extension of AMU. The patients here normally have an expected length of stay of up to 72 hours, so there's a high turnover of patients who only need a short hospital admission for diagnostics or treatment. This is the ward round performance sheet we use, which has different sections such as the patient's current issues or diagnoses, observations and blood test results. jobs for the day. I am actually in the laundry room um, because I've got tons of laundry built up from last week um, and I thought I'll do some today. Five minutes before I was about to head home, the labs called to say that a patient's INR came back too high. So INR is something that we monitor regularly for patients who are on warfarin and it tells you how quickly or slowly blood clots in the patient. So this patient's INR range should have been between two and three but it came back as 6.1 today, which is too high. And that means that it takes too long for the blood to clot uh, for this patient, which puts the patient at an increased risk of bleeding, basically. So I prescribed some IV vitamin K because that will help reverse the effects of warfarin and we'll recheck the INR tomorrow to check that it's coming down um, and eventually it'll be within the normal range again. But apart from that, it was quite an, an eventful day. So um, I'm gonna head off and do my laundry and make some dinner as well. Bye. While I was prepping the nose for the morning ward round, I got a call from the microbiology consultant to say that a patient's blood culture had grown E. coli. Despite being part of the gut flora, having pathogenic strains of gram-negative E. coli can cause a wide variety of intestinal or extra-intestinal infections such as urinary tract, intra-abdominal, pneumonia and sepsis. She advised to start the patient on strong antibiotics and monitor the inflammatory markers while awaiting for sensitivity results, which normally take a bit longer to come back than the culture results. This is important as some of the strains of E. coli are resistant to commonly used antibiotics and the sensitivity results will tell us which antibiotics the cultured E. coli will actually respond to.
timer. Okay. 